What, now we're live? We're live. All right. <laughs> How's it going, Saberland? Hey, Saberland. Dave and Curtis here with Electrum Sabercrafts, and we're finally, finally, finally. Finally. You, I would say it a few more times. But... Ready to talk to you guys about all the crazy stuff that we've been doing here at Electrum. It's been a crazy year. We've been doing a ton of stuff behind the scenes. Curtis has been working like a dog. It's been crazy. It's been, yeah. it's been crazy. <sighs> It's been crazy. But before we get into that, I just want to, we both do, uh, everybody here at Electrum wants to thank you guys for all the support, all the love, all the feedback that you guys have given us. You you really make this job worth it. Um, yeah, I would, it, I would agree. It, it's just absolutely incredible. Getting all the feedback, getting all the people texting us, getting all of the people talking. You, you, know. you guys keep, you guys make this passion a passion for us. And why don't you uh, do some shout-outs shout outs and talk to some people? I got I, oh, Hang on, hang on. I can't <laughs> shout-out because I'm technologically inept, and I can't turn this on. <laughs> that, of course, was the voice of Keith, the enigmatic background character that occasionally records us doing weird things like this. <laughs> oh, man, that's not the right thing. Get out of here. Oh, my god. Refresh this page, okay? That's not how you do it. Right there. Yeah. Terrible on Facebook. I know you are. Terrible. You're, you're fired from computers. I already did that. Um, oh, man. Okay, we're having technical difficulties right now because of me. <laughs> but bam Oh, there. Hit the play button. That's the one. There we are. Oh, I don't know how to look at the comments. Oh, there they are. Okay. I found the comments. Sorry. Sorry. That was... That was, uh, you know, we can build sabers all day long, but we can't run a computer. Or like it's terrible. a couple of grandpas. Yeah. All right. So shout outs. Kyle. Hey. Jimmy. Hey. Jeff. Hey. <laughs> we got lots of people coming on, and it's so cool to see you guys. You guys have been messaging us yeah. and like, commenting on all of our stuff, saying how excited you are for this broadcast. So you're probably sitting you know there what? like, if it you was... know, it's great, but shut up and tell us about the If it wasn't for Jimmy, I don't think we'd even do this broadcast. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Jimmy. Jimmy's the man. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of people coming on, which is super cool. So, okay. we, all right, uh, that's enough about us and you guys. I we think have, you're all waiting for a few things. So, first off, this video, yes, it's about D3. We're going to show you guys. D3. It's also about the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll, we'll get, get to it. it. We're going to show you guys the new Saber. We're going to show you guys D3. Uh, we got you a lot of guys stuff sold us in. out of all of our D2 hey, stock. And anyway. you forgot to talk. We're going to show the app. New yeah. app. Oh, yeah. Yes. Brand new. Oh, man. So Too much stuff. Too much stuff. Sorry, I'm going to be looking down here a little bit to make sure we don't miss <laughs> we 100 to things this. running by. So, yeah, it's very cool. We got to, but, but things uh, to say. But there is, pent -up energy. there is a couple of things that some people saw on our other posts that they're going to want to see first. And that's whether or not they want some free stuff. All right. There was some winners. Two, in yeah, fact. We had some uh, social media tag contests uh, running uh, through the holidays uh, in advance of this awesome live broadcast. And, of course, you know, the new Sabre announcement. Uh, in total, there were something like, what, 1,300, 1300 plus tags or something like that? Yeah, it was a lot. You guys are crazy. I don't, yeah. I don't even have 1,300 You know what's friends. even crazier? The, the last video we did, it was like 13,000 people watched it. We had a little bet going on, and we were like, Hey, how many people are gonna watch it? I was like, maybe eight or nine hundred. Thirteen thousand. You guys are insane. It was crazy. You so guys are insane. <laughs> it, it's it's so it's actually super cool. It makes me feel so good that you know people like us. They we really, really do. like us. <laughs> all right. Okay. So all right. we put all the names into a randomizer uh, and we got all the contests you know done. Uh, how many did, how many do we have? Um, so we got the draw and it is oh oh come back come back Jonathan. Dumoulin. Dumoulin. You won yourself a saber. He he tagged the emperor. You yeah. tagged the emperor. Right there. I mean, he all hail the empire. He, he almost should have won just for that. Just for that. But he literally also, you know what? It was only 1,319. We had to take that <laughs> out because we know it's fake. But you still win. It's super crazy and awesome. <laughs> so definitely get in contact with us. You got you uh, won a prize. What was the prize again? I don't know what the prize was. It was a gift card? Keith, you got to help Keith, me out here. Keith, you got to help me out here. What was the prize? What was the prize? For this? Yeah. yeah. 
This was a full on D3 a D3 saber. <laughs> a full on D3 saber. That's right. You're yeah, giving away choice. sabers of his choice. Of his choice. So you might get a choice of the new beep, 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 or the other sabers that we have. Yeah. Uh, he's definitely a saber fan, <laughs> and there are some super cool droids in there. So all right. So yeah, Jonathan, he, get in touch with us. You won yourself a free D3 equipped saber, and after you watch the rest of this video, you're gonna want it. Yeah. So. Stay tuned. All right. All right. So, without further ado, let's get to talking about... Okay, we had the naming contest. We had the naming contest. We always had a naming contest. We're getting... Oh, you were not there yet? We're not there yet. Oh, my god. Because gosh. they got to know what the name was. Oh, I thought we were going to do the... Okay. Okay, we'll do your strategy. We're going to talk I'll sit about back. the new saber. And we like to call the new saber... <gasps> nope. The Aurora. The Aurora. So the Aurora, as you can tell, it's a thin neck saber. We have had a bajillion people ask us, when are you guys going to do a thin neck? When are you guys going to do a thin neck? And, and I've been this, holding Dave off this for two years. This is our thin neck saber. So uh, what made you think of it? Uh, what, 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 are, what are the points of the saber? Since it's here, point them out and tell us all right, what, let me grab one what here, it is. Because there's a lot of options that you guys are going to get with this new smart saber here. So first of all... Uh, we're not gonna this one. We're gonna this one. This, this new saber, it's definitely our version of the hero, and it takes a lot of inspiration I'm from some know. of the original trilogy hilts. Uh, you've got your thin neck, you've got your flared emitter. We like to put the little crown on that. We want it to make it look a little bit more regal. Some greave leaves. Uh, the grip is actually knurled uh, with the deep rings. I don't know if you'd be able to see. You can't see that. <laughs> it's knurled. It's knurled. It's got the deep rings. Uh, we actually inverted the color scheme to more exemplify uh, the Obi-Wan Kenobi, which is where, of course, you know, Luke took the inspiration for his saber from. Uh, and then down here, you've actually got a little bit of a, you know, a Graflex clamp look with the bolted control box. But you actually have the option of getting either a silver, a black, or for you crazy duelists, no control box. So you'll so be able to inset. have that. It's kind of inset like the uh, Aegis. And yeah, you'll have an errand. inset, so it's easier. You'll be able to double up on that. The pommel is, of course, threaded. Way easier access to all the new setup. It's a little bit weightier, and it's just overall, it's an incredible, it's a super cool, saber. super, super tough saber. And the saber. best part, the it's best saber. part, we're warrantying the neck, neck for dueling. dueling. This is a warrantied saber. You're going to be able to take it out. Beat your friends up with have, it, uh, within reason, where yeah, you're here. Yeah. Um, we beat on it. We beat on it a lot. <laughs> we did a lot of testing, uh, and we were confident in, in their saber that we can warranty it for full contact dueling. It does have a shorter blade dip, which is something you guys are going to want to consider. Yeah. Uh, and all that information is going to be up on the website. Um, but it is definitely a dual hardy saber, so for you guys out there that like to be beat them around a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. The Aurora, just like all We're not going to come sabers. out with a saber. It's not warranted. So well, it took a it took a while to get it right to make sure that it wasn't gonna break. So, so another cool thing is that we like to price our savers as affordably as possible. But before we get into that, before we show you guys how you can get yours, we're gonna give away the first. We have one. a name winner. We have a name so winner. So somebody we actually thought it. of it. Now I will say that it took a little while. We it, did have to give a couple hints, <laughs> but somebody literally guessed it. But then there was a second guesser, I think, a few hours later. But it was the first person who guessed it was the contest. And, and I haven't even seen the name yet. So okay. without further ado, it is Jose, Jose Ayala. Ayala. You, you got yourself won. a saber. The Aurora Smart Saber. The first one. So get in contact with us. Yep. Uh, you'll be able to see all of the options and everything, and you'll be able to pick and hit out your exactly Smart how Saber you want it exactly how you want it. Yep. And it's going to be awesome. So stay tuned to the rest of this video because we're going to show you some of the awesome features that's going to be packed inside that bad boy. So so if this is you, whoever's, <laughs> whoever's, I'm not sure who it is. I think it's probably the younger guy, but maybe not. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Get in so, touch with us. But for the rest of you, for the rest of you, we like to price our savers as affordably as possible to give you guys access to what we consider to be the, the coolest, the coolest tech that we can possibly yeah. put in here. 
Uh, at so the best price. At the best price that we could possibly give to you guys. Yep. But before you do that, some people are talking about the fact that this the person's not even on here that won the Sabre. Oh, so one of the things is is we had to kind of, because of, we didn't want to compete with Super Bowl. We were going to do it on Sunday, but Sunday is the Super Bowl, and we are not about to compete with the Super Bowl, and all other schedules pushed it to today at 7, and we didn't know if the person would be legitimately able to be showing up. Yeah, so so, time zone, time. so the time zones are completely different, which the person may not be able to watch. So we are allowing the person to win it, even though yeah. we said originally that it, you had to show up. It is a we're problem gonna, of time zones. We're going to reserve, so, reserve yeah. for you. So don't we, worry about it. Yeah, Your saver is yours. Just, Just get in touch with us. So, I'm, so. I'm looking at a few things on here. So... Uh, I'll, I'll interrupt. Will a Dianium 3 work on my Aegis Saber I already had? Yeah, we'll, we'll be talking about upgrades at the end. Um, we don't have a price on an upgrade, and we're not going to take upgrades immediately. We're going to get out the first batch of these, which we'll talk about after, but yeah. we will have everything ready. Probably in the next few days, we'll be rolling you guys, that stuff You guys out. are going to hear a lot more information, yeah. but let's get to the end. We're going to show you all the details. Sorry, it's hard to look up there and look down here There's tons of stuff that we got to go over here. Yes. Yeah, so it's so, pretty crazy. Um, all right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so what's what's the cost on it? We're going to show you guys the price. All right. So we like to keep it as affordably as possible. We're introducing this saver at a three three forty nine price point. Um, but, similar to our Evo. However, yeah. For pre orders, you guys are going to be able to get this saver at. There it is, three twenty nine. So you're gonna save, you're gonna save a couple bucks off the saver. This is a pre order introductory price. So if you're on the fence about whether or not you want to get this one versus one of our other smart savers, this is the best time you're gonna have yeah. to buy it. It to is. In on it. It's an absolutely incredible deal that we're offering and on we're, the saver. We're really only calling it a pre order because it's not a production version yet. This is the first version of the production. We've just always called that a pre order. So it's not like you're getting something that's inferior. When we you're open, getting the same. When we open up orders, you'll be able to order this and any of our other smart savers. Don't say that because then they're going to ask when we're opening orders. Oh, well, we'll talk about that. Maybe later. we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. <laughs> but you'll be able to pre-order any of the or order rather any of these savers. Have, have our we ever thought of doing a wedding months. registry? A wedding Let's registry. do it. <laughs> Keith, make that happen. Wedding registry. I wish I wish I could turn the camera around because Keith, you should see Keith in his little <laughs> booth. He's decked out, and Keith is the guy that makes all this happen. So we call shout it out the command Keith. deck. Yeah, he's in, he's in the command, he's deck, in the command so, deck. So he is the guy that, that makes all of this possible. The guy that keeps us running. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, boy. All right, so where to next, D3? Finally, we're going to show you guys some of the best and brightest of the Dyad AM3 system. The saber board, it, it's almost ready to go out to you guys. It's coming out with all of our sabers. So we're going to show you guys. Some of our oh, you most know awesome features. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Where's it? I forgot. Got these. Where's it going? <laughs> All right, down in three. Here we go. It's going to show you a little bit. Hold of on a second. Okay. Hold on a second. So some people are saying they showed up late. Yes. And they're disappointed that they didn't win. Oh, okay. So there should be a, there, a guy's looking for a door prize. A oh, door okay. Prize. So we talked about a, yes. we talked about a, a fifty dollar gift certificate. Let's do it. So hey, what is, are you do? is fifty is fifty good? Fifty dollars good. Fifty bucks. It's free fifty bucks. It's free fifty bucks. Well, it's not yeah. literally fifty bucks. It'll be a fifty dollar gift certificate to the store. But it's basically fifty bucks. Okay, I, I'm I'm not the best at Star Wars. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll be the first to admit that. But this guy right here knows. I wouldn't say everything, okay? Because there's always somebody that knows something more than you, no matter what you what you're good at. But he knows a lot. So Dave's gonna come up with come up with like a sixty percent hard. Sixty oh, percent? That's all right. Um <laughs> sorry that come up yeah. You know what I'm saying. Sorry if that came off the well who <laughs> all right, I got a question for you. I got a question for you. Dave's gonna come up who with a question. Who was the master of Darth Sidious? First one to answer. First one to answer. First one to answer. Oh, come on. 
One door prize, door prize. What's a door prize? Okay, we'll, <laughs> we'll we'll keep going. Keith, the uh, command center guy, is going to monitor. Who? No, no, it isn't. No, <laughs> but I'm just waiting for the answer because there it is, Darth Plagueis. Oh, okay, we got it. Joshua Casey James. Dickinson. No, Casey James. No. Casey James underneath it. Okay, da, da, da. Darth Plagueis. Uh, he spelled it right. But, yeah, uh, Darth Plagueis is the answer. Yeah. So who was it? There, there was a bunch of people that said it really <laughs> close at the same time. Keith, you're gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> okay. It was, it was Jonathan uh, something Dickinson, I think. There, there's a lot. Okay. Hey, somebody already got it. You can stop. You can stop writing. <laughs> okay, because we'll do another one. We're, don't worry. You know what? I like giving stuff away. Okay. You know what? It's not good for the books, but it's good for people. Yeah, it comes out of his. We're about people. Yeah, it comes off me. <laughs> All right. Finally, but we're not without, further, do. without, without further, further ado, let's stop messing around here. Show you guys Diadium Three. So we wanted to. Obviously, you guys know all about the standards we put in our products. Uh, you, we've got you know RGB for no extra charge. We've got dualable hilts. We we design all of our hilts and assemble them by hand. It's assembled by a team of artists. And Bluetooth enabled on. App Bluetooth. is free. All of that stuff. Comes in the saber. Came on D two, yeah. but and we what's, use, what's yeah. D three? So what, what's D3? so great about D three? Uh, the thing that we're adding with D three, obviously, I'm going to show something. Ooh, it's show white. Something. That's what's cool about it. It's white and it's gold. It's white and gold. and gold. So Keith is going to zoom in on this, I'm sure. I love gold. All it's doing is just showing. Hey, we actually have boards ready. Yeah. These are the ones that aren't at the CM <laughs> that I could hold on to. Yeah. So they're cool. These are actual boards. D3 boards, ready to go. We should get those on key Well, they're not really ready to go. They don't have components on them. But, yeah, but you know what I'm saying. So what what's a big deal about D3? What did we put in? You, okay. you do the first one. Okay. D3, Same one. biggest feature, one. I shouldn't oh, say biggest. Yeah, biggest can't. features. One of the biggest features that you guys have been clamoring for for a while now is... Better not is, choose mine. Oh, it's NeoPixel. All right. Okay, you didn't it's choose mine. It's NeoPixel. And, and we you did that on... You guys are going to be able to get... NeoPixel, we have a great price on it, which we're going to show you guys. Uh, we did that on the to. second teaser as well. Yeah. So. NeoPixel, tapping, you'll be able to get blades with it, and you'll be able to also use it with your existing Pixel blades yes. from, you know, standard. We're uh, using blades. the same system. We'll, I, I don't know if we want to call it industry standard system, but there's enough of Saber, uh, Saber companies out there that are using it that I think we could probably say industry standard yeah, connection. Yeah, industry standard connection. So you'll so, be able to use it with your other Sabers. If you use. have other other blades or if you bought blades from us, they will work in your other Sabers. Yeah. So, easy, easy. All right, your next one. My next one is we're going to have firmware updates. Firmware updates. So there's a bootloader built onto the Saber. So if we have updates, like if we have new features, let's say Dave goes, hey, I want you to build a blade that does, I don't know, something better than the Vegas blade. If you yeah. can get that. We, we come up with a new feature, you'll be able to put it onto your saver. You're not going to have to send it back to us to be reflashed right. or, or upgraded. Yep. You're going to get that upgrade uh, and then be able to install it pretty easily. And you're good to go with the latest and greatest from Electrum. Exactly. And we're going to maintain that for it's a, big a long time. It's yep. a big deal. Yeah, yep. we, we've designed the hardware in here so that when we do upgrade it, it has hardware features built in that we know we're going to want in the future. Um, so yeah, I could get, I could <laughs> literally get into a million different things that are on there. Um, okay. Another big button settings and button uh, menus. Yes. You'll be able to, you're a lot of you guys, uh, you want options for how to configure the touch switch. It is a touch switch. It's not like a button, right? So you guys are going to want to be able to safely hold it, do whatever you want uh, while you're in motion or using the saber for dueling. You now have full control over that with the Electrum Unity yeah, app. Yeah. Yep. And the saber also has way more in-depth menus. You'll be able to do your volume, your color changing abilities. You're going to be able to do um, your user profiles. Your I'll, I'll show ones, them on the saber. All sorts of that. crazy stuff so, yeah, in an in-depth menu. Instead of having one auxiliary menu, we now have four <laughs> built into the saber. So you can crazy. change. You can change a lot more uh, without the app. Exactly. So, so once you have it set up to your liking, you just hot swap to everything you want yep. uh, right there on the saber. All right. Um, I'm going to have to go with the charge circuit. Ooh, charge circuit. So one of the big things is people like to swap out batteries basically because they're at they're somewhere where they used it all up, convention, and they need to 
they need battery power fast. Well, we took that into consideration. I'm not a huge fan of swapping out batteries. So what we did is we put a charge circuit in this thing that will charge the battery in two hours. It's absolutely, it's, it, you can get enough charge out of it in 30 minutes yeah. to, to walk around, go have your lunch, and then you got to save her for the rest of your convention. Uh, it's going to charge way faster. It's got um, It's actually crazy. a tiny bit faster than two hours, but I'm going to leave it at two hours because we got a 3,000 milliamp hour battery, and it charges at 1.6. Yeah, it's so fast. It, it, it charges really fast, and it will also show you the charging on the buttons on, on the, the outside of the yeah. saber so you don't have to look inside you know that it's charging properly because of what the button leds are telling you yeah so. easy peasy and then it's also do we want to talk about the new uh speak time easy yes easy. yes 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 <laughs> uh, always and uh, some of the things that we we had you know charging the deep sleep was a big one we had the sleep switch we had we have changed i just got the uh slow down so we <laughs> slow, got down. slow down, down. <laughs> So the deep sleep is a big, big deal. So we put deep sleep into this. Yeah. The, we still have a switch in there, and that switch, yes, I get that the switch was very tiny, um, but the new switch is not, tiny. is not <laughs> tiny, and you can click it on and off with your finger. We also upgraded the hardware on the USB, so the hardware on the USB um, I wouldn't say you can drop your saber with a connected charging, but you can you be can. more rigorous with it because it's actually physically soldered into the board, not just a surface mount soldering. It's it's physically got through hole connections. Yeah. So the thing with this, it, so it's a big deal. So with the switch, uh, everything in there has been improved for durability and longevity. So deep sleep is going to last you way longer, even if you don't have the saber in. A deep sleep mode. Uh, it has a natural deep sleep yeah. without using that switch. What that switch is primarily used for is if you're going to leave it on the shelf for uh, months and months, yeah. or if you're, you know, do tinkering on to your uh, SD card or something like that. It just allows you to do a nice reset it on there without does having a clean, to... clean boot. Yeah, it just so. does a clean boot. Really easy, uh, but you're not going to need it like you did before. It's going to last you way longer yeah. and charge way faster. So and, that's uh, awesome. One other thing we did, we, we did it on teaser number one, and some people, I, I there was some funny, some people said some funny things, I keep looking down here talking, <laughs> some people said some funny things that when they turned it on, like, people in the other rooms were like, going, what the heck are you watching? Um, we, to, I, I don't want to say to my chagrin, but I'll say to my chagrin, we, we've changed the speaker and, and complete audio system, so it, it's no longer built how we used to build it as far as the electronics are concerned. We're going Why to... Why do you show some close-ups? People are wanting to see the switches. They want to see oh. the differences. Oh, yeah, all right. Oh, gotcha. So, with the... It's in here. Yeah. All right. So, we're going to fire up that. They want to see this switch. Ah, right there. there you are. Can you get in on there? Uh, you're going to have to move a little tight. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, you can see the switch is a lot bigger. Charge. The, everything's kind of in the same place. <laughs> I just want to talk to Keith. Can you say that? Who said that? Sean Featherstone is, uh, is uh, giving me a hard time. Oh. <laughs> so, so, yeah, everything is, is there. We, like I said, we, we completely rebuilt the audio system. Full 16-bit digital audio. It was 16-bit before, but we weren't. it wasn't full digital audio. This is actual full digital audio from the chip. So much craziness has to go into this chip to make this work with mixing all the channels in to get smooth profile to work right, to get a hybrid profile to work right. Which we're going to be talking which about. Which we're going to talk about. But basically, well, how we can summarize it, and you're going to hear it and in, in a minute here. Yeah. Uh, you're going to get show louder, speakers. richer, bassier tones out of the new speaker setup. A lot of you guys have been asking for, for something to kind of give you guys that deeper, sithier experience, and we we take all of our feedback uh, seriously. very seriously, yeah. so we've cool. kind of come up with a way that has this awesome speaker while still allowing, you know, the Bluetooth signal to go through without you guys having to yeah. sit with this, everything like that. There's a lot of engineering that went into overcoming the hurdles on There's a D2 few hurdles. to make this yes. the craziest version that yeah. we have. Yeah, it, it took a long time, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's taken a long time, and... I am still married, 
<laughs> Barely. 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 Gideon, if you're watching, it, I'm really still married a lot. Yeah, it's just a lot. A, yeah. no. <laughs> All right. So, let's stop talking about it. Yeah, is there, I was just thinking. Is there was a request to close up on the speaker, too. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. all right. Okay. So, we're working through the speaker stuff. We may, and I say we may, offer a couple different, not at this point, a couple different. Um, Bring it in. Oh, oh we'll yeah, up. I think there you go. he got it. <laughs> a couple different base speaker options because we know that some people. Some you know, a lot of people crazy. liked our speakers before. Okay, I'm mm -hmm. not, you know, but the bass does make the saber feel a little bit bassier, <laughs> meaner. Yeah. And we understand that, which is yeah. why we want to deliver that to you guys yeah. exactly how you want it. You'll be able to, when we get into more sound stuff here in a moment, uh, you'll see just how we've kind of uh, played the field in the sense that everybody is going to be able to have You're what they want to be. Oh, You're married. Okay. Playing the field with the savers. Okay? Oh, okay. Okay, so what we should do is we'll boot it up. I'll go through some of the menus on here, and then we'll show you the app on here. Hey, Jose hey. just showed up. Ho Jose! Jose! Oh, you know what? Oh, they, they were taking back the $50 gift certificate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We would never do that. <laughs> All right. Tell Jose. Talk, talk to him. Jose! Hey, hey, Allah, hey my Jose. man. Guess what? You won. Yes. Hey, free. Smart saver from us to you. Hey, hey, bring up Jose's picture here. Where, where is he? Where is he? Bring him up. Come on, Keith, do your thing. Bring up that beautiful man. Bring okay. him up. Jose, oh. Jose, which one's you? <laughs> this guy? Or is it the second guy? Jose, you're supposed to be watching here. <laughs> he's, he's, he'll, answer. Oh, first, he'll answer. First guy right there, Jose. You got the mustache or no? <laughs> Yeah, you bald or you bald is hair. beautiful. Okay, bald or hair. Beautiful. We're just curious which one. He's just catching up now. Oh, All right. he's catching up. He's just so excited. Okay, he's got to watch for the whole Thank thing. you for for you know being a part of this. Yeah, it, it's fun. To, it's fun. I actually like giving away sabers because we literally have a customer. He's on the, the right. right. He's on the right. Okay, that's yeah, okay. So you. cool. Cool. All right. Well, welcome to the Electrum family. Yeah. So now you now you're a part of history. History <laughs> in the making. All right. Without further ado, are we allowed to show the saber now? Can we show the saber now? I I need permission. Does anybody want to see it? Let's ask. <laughs> Does anyone? We'll let you guys see it. Do you guys want to see the saber? Per somebody said the first five people that answered the last question should get fifty bucks. <laughs> you know what? We'll do more. Okay. We'll do more. We'll, we'll, we'll do more. We'll give away more money. I will contemplate more questions yes. for you to test your. You know knowledge. what? I might be able test to come up with one that. You know what? Uh, everybody will answer, so we'll have to be like so quick. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. But without further ado, let's finally get into showing you guys some of the awesome features of Diet M3. Let's fire this bad boy up. You guys have been waiting a long time, right? Come on. Um, one of the things that Dave talked about was the new button feature. So we'll go over the app to show you how it turns on and off. You can do two button. You can do single button. So what we've got, we've got it. <laughs> I love that. We've got a slight flicker on there. A slight flicker. So, of course, that's our smooth profile. You're going to be able to have the smooth effects. Uh, hopefully, you're picking it up in live broadcast here. But we've got an ultra, ultra low latency, basically negligible latency. It responds exactly to your movement. Yeah, the gy it's unreal. The gyro it. basically is 100% real time. There's no, yeah. there's no latency. It's... Yeah, and then, of course we have cool mixed in Ooh. things. We'll talk, we'll talk a little bit more about the kinetic engine. I know Dave's looking at me like, give me that saber, let me bring it around. <laughs> Too bad. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about the buttons. So before the button presses was a single button up. So now we've got. You can see that I had to hold on to that, and now that's just a single button. We'll go we'll go on the app to show you a little bit more. Yeah. We've also got the menus. Volume. Oh, it said volume. So it makes it a little bit easier for you to know what menu you're in. We have volume. Yeah. And uh, we won't tell you whose voice that is. <laughs> yeah. It's Keith going volume. <laughs> you'll be able you'll be able to. Go through all of these menus, and so sound. You can go to your different sound profiles on the board. 
you'll be able to profiles. profiles. Hopefully you can hear that. I guess I should have been doing this, but <laughs> and then to get out you just hold the button. It'll blink a few times. Tells you you're out. So you can do all of that stuff on the saber. I, could, flick I just want to just crack the, <laughs> crack the camera. Yeah. And then we're like, ah, what happened? It was just being an awesome Jedi. <laughs> I'm a Jedi. Dave's literally a Sith. Sith life, man. So, Sith life. So that's all my staff. So I'm very part. Oh, show it. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. Because all of this stuff will work in our other sabers. Yeah. And so it's not just the Aurora. You'll be able to get it. Cutlers. We, have cutlers. Cut we, have, we sell cutlery. Cutlery. No. Yeah. I'm going to put this down here. Shh. Because it's literally too loud and yeah. But you'll be able to get it on any saber. Imagine a saber staff with smooth or even the hybrid profile. Butter. Yes. It's going to be great. So. All right. So we're going to put the app up here, and I'm going to play around with it. Dave's going to hold that so that you guys can hear it. Ooh. Finally. And, and Keith, you're doing that. <laughs> Switch over the... We have to show the app. The wondrous app. Keith, you had one job. Okay, you had one job. The whole <laughs> We're integrating time. it more and more into our videos, but I mean, like, mostly you're not ready it's, to mostly see it. Mostly it's just a dog. <laughs> it, you're not ready to see his luscious long locks. It's you, unreal. Hey, uh, can you get rid of that stuff on the side? What's all that stuff? <laughs> okay. You can see me. That's what I used to look like. Oh, jeez. I'm the and That's my wife. We're still together. Hello, Somehow. Neil. Somehow. All right. Thanks to us. Oh, I didn't want to show that. All right, so Dave, you did a really good job. At, okay, we redesigned the app. Uh, a while ago, almost when we started D3, Dave's like, "We're gonna have to overhaul the app," and I'm like, "No, we're not." <laughs> Dave said, "We need to," and then he phoned Keith. Then Keith phoned me and said, "We're gonna have to overhaul the app." So we yeah, have we have this system. Basically, when it's two against one, the guy who is the one he loses. It kind of sucks, but that's just the reality of this company. But Dave did. I don't. It couldn't be better. I am. I'm really, really happy and proud of what you did, Dave, with this. I think it was so cool. So. All right. So All right. I'm moving it around here. All right. So you can see a few differences, Dave. Can you read these for me? Because uh, I can't. Read no. them. Should I should I let them read them? Maybe they can. Oh yeah, zoom in, zoom, <laughs> zoom in on this. Zoom in on this. I don't think I can zoom. No, because I'm gonna touch. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I was gonna say because we can. That's twenty five bucks. Twenty five dollar gift certificate. Who tells us what that means? I can't read that orb as that close. It's too tiny. It's gonna be a little. A it's too tiny. Each sure each one tiny. of them. Each one of them has a uh, special secret message on the saber you'll be yes. able to see when you All right. it. Okay. We'll leave that for you guys to actually figure out. I think that'll be more fun. It'll Fine. be more fun. Okay, so. It shows you the saber. It shows you what saber it actually is. So when you have more than one saber, which many of you already do, which is just crazy. Yeah. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I just think, <laughs> you know, I have lots of them, so I shouldn't say anything. But it shows you what saber it is, gives you the name of your saber, they all come as electing one, and it shows you what the actual saber is. So, so you'll be able to connect to the saber, obviously, the same way that you connect to anything else. Oh, look at that. It's doing the thing. Wow, look at that. All right, so we've got a lot of new profi uh, profiles. Information on here that you guys are going to be able to uh, configure. Many of you have already seen uh, the kinetic engine, uh, volume, and that sort of stuff. Turn it down a little bit. It will turn down a tad. We'll turn it down just okay. so you guys can so hear us. We'll go through these. We've we've redid this, and I, I can't say it enough how much I enjoy looking at the app now. Maybe it's because I've looked at it for two weeks straight. It could have something to do with that. <laughs> literally, when you're with something for that long, you basically fall in love with it. <laughs> okay, enough said. What does this thing do? You know what? I'm going to turn it up a bit because the first thing I'm going to do... So I'm going to go into sound profiles, and you guys will notice some cool things that we talked about before. What is this EQing? What is all this stuff? What is the hybrid? What is their smooth going to be like? Well, this is where it all starts. Okay, So we can go through, and, and keep in mind, we're only going to show some of this stuff. All of the sound font manipulation, all of that stuff, some of the stuff in colors, 
We're not going to go through it. We're going to go through all of the key points. We are going to be doing. We're not all, doing. All of it. We're not doing teasers. We're not doing sorry. teasers anymore. We're going to be From doing instructional on, you videos guys are now. Full videos. So we're going to go over all of this. All of this stuff. So, we're going to show you a couple of things. I am. I am. Sigil. Sigil. Sigil's really loud. And you know what? You know why I put Sigil on here with the other two? Do you know why? Why? Do you know? You don't it's know the why? Original? Yeah, it's, it's the, the original classic. font that we originally from who? Lord Blaco. Blaco. Hey Blaco. Lord Hopefully Blaco. you're watching this. You he's better be. Man. You better be. Yeah. He is. He, he wants is, one uh, of these too. Yeah. He he's uh, he's the guy that basically builds all of our fonts. Yeah, and he's a fantastic guy. Support him with all of your fonts because yes. he makes it. And your money. Yeah. And all of your money. Yeah. 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 That's good support. Money. Well, after you give us your money, give him your money. All right. So. I'm going to move some of these. These are overall EQ effects. So you can now take a sound font and add bass to it. Overall bass. Now that's through all the frequencies of everything. Uh, or, sorry, all of the swinging, all of the flashing, everything will have that boost built in. Same as the mid, same as the treble. The treble's a little bit hard to hear because you have to have the right sound font for it. And a lot of Sager sound fonts are on the lower end. Yeah. So, so all of these are basically going to be adjusted um, based on the font and yeah. what you want to hear. And these will be saved in real time. In your user profile for that sound font. So when you click on that sound font, these will go <laughs> and they will already know how you wanted that set. Because exactly. obviously, Saber guys, I'm a Saber guy now, <laughs> we're very particular about how we like our sound. Yes. So I'm going to change this. Hopefully, Mevo. You can hear this. The Mevo is our Mevo's camera. camera. That's a camera. Okay. So okay, okay. God. Hang on. Hang on. Let me let me put it back. Hang on. So you can hear. Okay. Let me do it now. Oh, All right. Crazy. That's so loud. Okay. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna do the mid. The mid you can hear a little bit more. So obviously it's going to make it louder and more pronounced on those mid tones versus the regular. You're and then, going to be able to fine tune that. On and then the yeah, you can set this wherever you want. Obviously, it takes one dB out or adds three dB, so yeah. you get quite you get quite a bit. So and then treble. You can sort of hear treble. treble on kinetic, but not. And and I just want to give, uh, you know, I hope everybody like. I'm going to hit kinetic again. Kinetic. Because it's it's not it it's got an accent. Kinetic. Kinetic. So this is of course uh, the new font this is that was new developed font. specifically for us by Lord Blaco. And it's it? also uh, it, it's inspired by all of the new stuff that we packed into D three and the kinetic. It engine. has it has it's designed, deeper ripping. It's designed specifically yeah. for D three. It's awesome. So it's you're only going to be able to get it from us. So definitely pick it. Okay. <laughs> so what else do we got? We got blade settings. Okay, we a, a, re a really big complaint that we got um, was having to swipe through. You can't see up there. I'm swiping on with my finger down. Yeah, you can't actually <laughs> see me doing that. People didn't like the swiping through. So now we've got this nice scroll bar across the top for your 12 fonts. Because Dave likes pink. Yeah, I do. Or green at this point, or back to red, whatever we want. And this then. Is we also had, I, I keep saying complaints, not really complaints, constructive constructive stuff. Obviously, it, it does clash too. Yeah, so, it does clash, um, obviously. So we can go in and we've changed the color picker. So now we can just click on a spot. Oh, what? <laughs> That's and you, crazy. And you can see, you can't actually see it up there. It's not coming in where we're clicking. I guess you see it here. And it also changes, you can also change here and then update it. I wish it actually would be nice if I would get something where it shows where it points. <laughs> you know, on the screen as a as an Apple product. Um, but anyways, that's that's where it is. So we can go back to full red. Can you make it green again? Uh, oh, make yep. it green again. Oh, that's the request. That's kind of a slimy green. So Here, this this let's is go actually... full green. Yeah, but it's flickering between. It's flickering green and red and, because uh, yeah, because the flicker color, the flicker color is still red. Yeah. So if we change so that, if I flickered to green, let's go. Uh, not a crazy flicker. 
Then we've got a, a nice. Now game. it's a hero right yeah. here. Yeah, Yuri. That's what I have to say. So, flicker color settings, uh, changing yeah. that a lot easier. Obviously, you can do audio, you can do pulse, you can do audio, duration, you can set up your flicker, the flicker color, clash setup. Everything is still there from last time. We didn't want to change it, the format too much because we, you know, people get used to something, and, and it, we don't want to be like. Um, you know, we don't want to be like. I don't want to say the androids of the world. <laughs> so we, we don't want to change everything all the time. Similar layout, but yeah. a lot, a lot more uh, quality lot, of light. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll call it quality. All right. So. Pixel plate. No. No. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. Oh, switch plate. Ooh. So this is Dave's going to hold that, and I'm going to show you. So now you can see here we've got the motion threshold. So you can set that from a one to a ten uh, based on whether whether you want to whether you want to actually have it lock out the switch real easy or lock out the switch really hard. Right? And that's that's in motion. The second the saber starts moving, yep. it's going to disable. It'll disable uh, the switch touch input completely. so that way. Yep. You don't hit it while you're accidentally spinning it around, yep. dueling, what have you. And then you'll see a cool feature on here. When we move it, now that, that option menu goes away. You touch on it, it comes down, you move it. Or if you touch a different one, it actually moves to the next one. Switch plate sensitivity, you're going to be able to change the switch plate. Sometimes on some of the switches, you can literally hover above it and it will activate. Yeah. So you might not like that, but you might want that if you're running gloves. Yes. Right. So, so you're gonna be able to change that switch plate, which, you know, we know we've had. These are legitimate complaints on our switch, and these resolve all of those issues. Exactly. All of them. We want. We, so, we take a lot of time to listen to you guys and get feedback, and we wanted to make this switch drastically improved from the last version. So it's gonna be a lot better for you guys to use. It's gonna be way easier to configure. Okay. So I just switched the on and off time to basically nothing, right? So yeah. now I'm going to power it off, and it takes nothing, right? Power it on. It's just an easy button press. Now let me go hold time there, hold time there, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, so the power off. Now now it doesn't, you can see, you can see that I'm yeah, actually sorry. touching it, so we're not lying about this. So then we hold it, then it turns off. Same as the power on. Right? So you gotta hold it for that amount of time for it to actually do anything. Exactly. And then we've got the blaster with the hold time so to get it into blaster mode, which we can't do. We're gonna show you guys a lot more of that when I have more. In the instructional around. videos. Yeah, yeah. so you the can do your video, savoring. That's a, <laughs> it's got a it's got a brand new system for it. Uh, it's just I don't wanna hit anything. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys that in a detailed video that'll probably be the next one that we put out is gonna be a lot of that stuff. Yes. So you'll see that very soon. Five yeah. saber angle, and you can also do a two button. You, we'll the same we'll show that, that same swipe, to, but you can actually say I hold the first button for one second and then swipe to the middle. So you can completely configure your switch and make it yours. Yeah. So exactly if you just want a quick touch on, go ahead and do it. Or if you want the power off to be like a ten second power off, but the power on to be just a quick power on, do it. Yeah. So it's all there. Jer Jerry holds one. Of I hope I'm saying his name right. I wanted you to know that it's not complaints, it's constructive criticism. No, I know that. But we legitimately <laughs> had a few people that were constructive were annoyed. criticism. I like yeah. it. We'll use it. Yeah. We we and did we appreciate it. We want you guys to be honest with us yeah. about our savers. I agree. There was certain ways that we were like, no, if you just use it like this, and people were like, Well, I don't always have my thumb. I think there. I think really what it comes down to is that this system is so much Better. better. Um, it's just yeah, so it's much better. better. It's better. It's so much better. Not easier. that the old one was bad. Right. It's yeah. just improvements. This is D3, not D2. We're proud of it. It can do more. So what there's lots of stuff. <laughs> now, are you proud of the change, new change name set? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, we still got user that. profiles in there. You'll be able to Nothing's set up. there. You'll be able to set up all of your user profiles. Same more or less the same as before. It's a little bit uh, more intuitive. Yeah. Um, and it'll be a little bit easier for you guys that you know had trouble uh, missing a step or something like that. Plus now you can you know swap a bunch of it, yeah. all of that stuff on here. So it's going to be a lot easier. One of one of the big things. Oh, Keith has got something. He's, he's oh, it looked like he's ready to say false alarm. Okay, kinetic engine. Kinetic engine. 
This what, is the one that you what guys... The, what the heck's a kinetic engine? We are. should explain what a kinetic engine is. We're new people that... All right. We're, kinetic didn't, engine. didn't watch any of our stuff before. Kinetic engine, the reason it's called that, it is our new motion suite. It, com it governs uh, the way that your saber reacts to your movements, the way it sounds, the way it feels in your hand, and allows you to configure it true to your exact movements so that it's true to life and the most realistic saber experience that can be offered. Uh, you guys have, if you've seen our uh, videos before, you'll know that we have three motion profiles that you can swap to on the fly. You've got your classic profile, which we're used to on our D2 boards, our hybrid profile, and our smooth profile. So that's classic. Just you classic. Know. And you can, uh, I know it, of you're going to do all of your adjustments on there. I've got the swing interval way low, so yeah. it doesn't, it takes a lot for it to do it. So, and then we've got hybrid, which integrates smooth in, as well as adds some classic. Now, it's not adding a lot of classic because, where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. Classic add interval. So you can actually add the amount of classic swings randomly that you want to come in. So that the lower the amount, you you can have less come in. Or more the intensity in. yeah. of uh, your clear, beautiful swing sounds from your uh, your classic fonts with the awesome buttery smoothness of a smooth. Buttery profile. smooth. Buttery smooth. Buttery smooth. All right. And so let me go through a few of these things. Now, you can see that we have EQs again in here. A bass boost EQ and a mid boost EQ. So one of the cool things, and, and I can... I can say this. He says cool a lot. It's really cool. Because cool. I love this thing. <laughs> I, I literally He's... love what went into this and I love what we built. And I say we because it is not it's a team just, effort. It's a total team effort all around. So you know what? Let me turn holy cow. I let me turn that blade down a tiny bit <laughs> so that we can not Ooh, orange. I like yeah, that. Yeah, let me let me hang on. And then I'm gonna just do a little bit less orange. Okay, there. Ooh, yellow for you uh, sentinels out there. Okay, so what this does is we have a base boost and a mid boost. So in designing this, we we had a lot of things ready, I don't know, probably about eight or nine months ago. We're like, hey, we're, we're pretty good. And then we threw some wrenches into our own engineering, which <laughs> we do that. I don't know why we do that, but it happens. So we changed a few things on the hardware that now allows us to mix in actual audio manipulation and mid tones into the swing. So we're taking not just not just the smooth motion, we can actually at the end of the motion, let me change that to smooth. You can actually It'll give you that hard hitting bass at the end of it. So it actually adds that in. So it gives you more sounds in the smooth profile. More sound differentiation, I guess, is a better better term. And then you could kind of hear it there. We have something called reverb intensitivity. 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 That's terrible. Intensity. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Can you feel that? He's, he's laughing, laughing at he's the laughing comment. At he's us. laughing at it. Oh, is he? Okay, he's not yeah. laughing at us. I probably yeah. missed it. No, I was laughing at you. Oh. <laughs> All right, but reverb intensity. So what that does is it actually puts more swing manipulation in there. So we won't tell you how it happens or, or how we do it, but it's there. So what it does is it gives you sound reverbs built into the sound, which can happen during any swing. So it randomly selects new swings, randomly selects how much bass boost there is based on your max, based on your mid-max, based on your it interval. It allows you to create every custom thing. swings with your already existing fonts yeah, and then completely overhaul them on awesome. top of what it's you've awesome. already done. And, and did we mention that all of this stuff works with your already existing classic fonts? Yes. You don't need specialized fonts to it's create one of the biggest any things. of these things. Yeah. Saber Creates them Saber for creates you. them for you, and it's and it allows you. So you, you don't that. need a smooth. Well, I'm going to say it. Okay, you don't need a smooth swings font. You need just a smooth pro. You just need a, any font from any uh, any Plector font. We'll go with that. Any Plector style font. Any yeah, Plector sure. style font 
and it will, create, on it will create the smooth profiles built in for you. So you don't have to go out and buy any new sound fonts. You can use your old ones. And we or want get that, kinetic. Or get kinetic. That was a big deal. Yeah. That was a really big deal that we wanted to come up with something that didn't make you go out and buy all new stuff. Yes, you got to buy a new saber. But, you, know, <laughs> you don't have to buy a new sound fonts. Yeah, on top of it. On so top it, of it, it right? gives more so. freedom to you know you guys uh, to be able to create it the exact way that you want it to work without having to do a lot of fiddling on your end. We want it to essentially you fire it up out of the box and it feels like a lightsaber. Yeah. And it feels this, like your lightsaber. This allows you to just tweak it to exactly where you want it to be, to be the perfect lightsaber in your hands. Yeah, we, we put, you know, we had a lot of settings in there before to make the saber yours, but I think, I think we... This kind of all over. We set, the, we set the bar pretty high on this one. <laughs> so, um, and, and like we said before, this thing is updatable. So yeah. firmware is updatable in the future. So anything with V3 on it will be available to have updates in the future. Now, like we said, whether that's maybe we put some new swing manipulation in and the new Apple blade update, profiles, new blade profiles. New oh, yeah, we could show some of that. Of I, I forgot to show that. <laughs> okay, one, one last thing, one last thing. With one of the things you guys love most about Pixel Blades is the pixel modulation. You love being able to change all the effects and not just flicker, but you want to have different animations. And that's where I think NeoPixel really shines, is the ability to do it. So There's right a little here, bit of an unstable, of an unstable blade. blade. And unstable you can go, blade. you can even go more unstable by, you know. You'll be able to increase the uh, speed and intensity of this. We're we have it a little bit slower just because yeah. it's harder to pick up on camera. Um, but there you go. You, uh, somebody wants to see a good swing, it's like spin of the saber. We don't have a lot of ring, but Whoa. no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be out of the way. Don't hit my computer. Yeah, yeah that was close. I and think that you just made Ren very happy. That that Whoa. was uh, that was without any of the base boost, and that was just that was base, a straight yeah. smooth profile. Yeah. So and 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 the base, it, it's it's gonna boost the base that's already built it's also, in there, right? So, so it's got a little bit. Of Pitch shifting, yeah, modulation. All sorts of well. like it actually pitch shifts for you guys, so you're gonna be able to have those ultra realistic spin effects. Like honestly, I spun this thing and I, I felt like Darth Maul. It was awesome. You are Darth. Maul. I am Darth Maul. A little bit, you know, if I shave. Okay, let me let me now. Now I'll go to this one. All right, so that's your uh, flame blade. Flame uh, blade, but let's do this. Oh, he's doing crazy stuff. <laughs> Blue flame with a red flicker at the bottom. So you'll be able because, to kind of mix two colors. Because you, you can have. put the flicker. Let me get rid of that flicker at the bottom. So you can have your ignition color that you want at the bottom. So then we could mix in a little bit of green as the ignition down at the bottom, and you can see it. Oh, it's it, like an acid blade. Yeah, it has like a Neat. little bit of. It has like a little bit. Of, it, it's it's the ignition portion of it, right? Yeah, so, you could do like a like a white. Blue yeah, blade yeah, you can kind of do whatever like color you want, right? So that that's cool. I thought we should we should show that then. We have, this is Keith's favorite profile. He oh, said, build this for me. I, I need this on my saber. He loves it. It's his favorite. The it's Vegas, Vegas blade. blade. So everybody's got to have a Vegas blade. It is the, it's literally all you, I wouldn't say all you do. It's just complete randomization. But Keith it actually it. reminds me of my little pony. Man. Yeah, exactly. That, that's why I liked it. Maybe that's why I liked it. It flickers random colors. Uh, it's all totally random. Yeah, you can you can you know minimize the amount of colors and all sorts of stuff. This is kind of just like a, a power of pixel. Yeah. Uh, demonstration of how you can address each individual pixel. Um, we have it in there because it's fun. Yes. Uh, but there's going to be even more blade profiles coming out as we kind of come up with them and allow you guys to customize them. Uh, back to flicker. That gets so crazy. Like you, I don't know how you're sometimes. You know how your eyes pick up weird digital stuff yeah. when you're when you're doing that. I pick up the green and it kind of falls it's in. Like, it's yeah, like, yeah. It Can you see it too? Yeah. Okay, I, not that I want to go crazy on that. You know, this is Canada, and they're probably like, oh, all they do is, you know, I, I don't even want to say it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyways, I, I don't know if that impresses anybody, but I think 
arm's getting tired now. Yeah, man. I think that. Flip the flipper. I think that everything. I can't even begin to talk about how it makes so it feel to be a runner. And then there's but just a. Anyway, uh, we want to hear from you guys. We want to open it up to a QA. Uh, we want you guys to ask us about D3, the Aurora. Hey, we don't have to yell. Oh, we don't have to yell. <laughs> Again, Hello, I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> Ask us about D three. Ask us we questions. We want to hear your questions. We're gonna watch. We're gonna we're gonna answer them. We have you guys down here. You know we have to squint, but only one of us is kind of blind, so it's alright. Hey, why don't you do another question? Oh, you know what? No, no, I'll do the question, and be ready because it's gonna be easy. <laughs> all right, another gift card question. Yes. For you how guys. much? How much, Keith? How much are we allowed to spend? <laughs> <laughs> 50, I think, was our last one. Okay, we'll do another $50 gift card. Okay, is everybody ready? On your marks, get set. What was the name of Han Solo's ship? Oh, that's <laughs> way too easy. Do we have it? Nobody even knows it. You just have to give it a second. I'm not, no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, they're behind us. You know, oh, yeah. How far, what, how far behind is the feed? Oh, right seconds. there, James Anno. James Anno? Anno, yeah. Millennium. Okay, um, somebody got it. Somebody got it. You can all stop. Well, he said Millennial Falcon, not the what? Millennium Falcon. He said, oh, he's uh, probably 20-something, uh, isn't he? <laughs> I was about to say, the yeah. more arrogant yeah. Millennium. Everything's, Millennials. everything's about Millennials. Those damn Millennial Falcon. They, they even <laughs> changed the name of Millennial Falcon to Millennial Falcon. It's, I'm a Millennial. Yeah, Dave's a Millennial. So we do <laughs> give Dave the gears because... Keith and I are old. They're Xers. Ancient. We're Xers. Ancient. Keith like just, wizards. Keith just did that too. So, <laughs> okay. All right, let's go into our Q&A. Let's do a Q&A. We'll Ask do, us about we'll do some more questions after because yeah, we'll, we'll do we got, we got we'll some do time. Hang on. Do we, yeah, we, do, we got time. If you guys want to hang around, we'll give away money all night. <laughs> he's like, he's like, no, 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 no. He's only saying that he doesn't want to stay up all night. It has nothing to do with the money. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, we'll just leave that up. You know what? Let me switch this to something. Okay. Switch it. Okay, to Q and A. Q and A. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right. When can we buy? Let me answer. If you guys would let us get off this feed, it'll be five minutes later. The store is going to be open five minutes after this broadcast ends. Yes. And you'll be able to order any saber, including the brand new Aurora with Diadium Three and, and Neo Pixel. We're going to have it ready to go. You guys will have all your lead time. Well, you already there. have it ready to go. And, of course, we're going to be releasing more information, uh, new manual as well for the Sabre, all sorts of crazy stuff. So, somebody asked somebody asked about the warranty on the NeoPixel Blade. The first the first gen on the first Neo gen. Blades will be a thin wall, only because we ran into a little bit of engineering problems that we have overcome now, but it won't be ready for the initial release. But the heavy grade blade, the heavy grade blade is, is going coming. to be it's going that's to be. gonna be your dual yes. worthy blade. Yeah. Uh you'll be able to use this one um you know for some light dueling and yeah, stuff like for that. Sure. But it's we're still... not we're not going to say this is your dueling yeah. blade because we're gonna be releasing a specific blade for that. Um so hey, hold on. Kelsey just that. said love ya. Oh, it's so sweet. That doesn't count. That doesn't we, count. We do we do some Your wife just said something too. What? Okay, they, uh -huh. they can't be count. They're not counted in our contest. We do some funny contests between the three you of us. You can't tell them what the contest is. I know, I won't tell them because then they'll cheat. They'll I get cheat. it. I get it. I but think we do I'm some funny win. contests. You're not, I'm and win. I already know it because I've seen something. So I won one of them. <laughs> yes. Oh, Anyways, man. hi, ladies. Okay. <laughs> wives, Comment more. Wives, thank you for putting up with us because this has been a crazy crazy year and a half, two years. Yeah. It's been crazy. Literally crazy. Okay. Anyways. Q &A, Q &A. What do we got? Another question. Non increasing non Neo Pixel Vegas setting? Yes. yes. <laughs> Will increasing the base affect the speaker? Um yes. yes. Yeah. So, yeah. It definitely will. Obviously if if it is too bassy, it'll distort. But based on the way that it works, that distortion also makes a pretty cool ending of the swing. And so, you're not, it's basically, you're not going to damage yeah. the saber. Um, you're going to change the sound, yeah, you know but what? you won't damage it. We, you know we've taken do. that into consideration. This thing <laughs> gets Sorry. loud. That was too, that was too just telling you. Okay, okay, listen to this. Listen to this. <laughs> 
it's pretty crazy what, the, uh, the how the chamber works on yeah. this. It, it's pretty crazy. So that's how we we had to come up with a system in there to make sure it all worked properly. Anyways, yes. but so you're good to go. It's no different, but it'll still you won't get yeah, damage the saber. Well, so this question is like, is the saber warranty or the speaker warrantied? All of our stuffs warranted. All of our all of our stuffs. Warranty. All of it is yeah. warranted. We assemble our electronics. One we year. design the electronics. Yeah. Everything is built in house. In house. You're not going to have to send it to another uh, shop to get it repaired. If a, if a saber comes to you and under normal use and condition, just not don't take a swim with it or anything. Yeah. If something happens to it. We're going to take care of you. We're going to get it fixed up. Just don't. I don't know. Take it apart and throw it down the stairs or take a swim with it. Something like that. Normal wear and tear, dueling, everything like that. We warranty for that. We want you guys to have a real weapon, essentially. A real lightsaber. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't, uh, you know. What so, do we got? They're so coming through way too fast. It's, yeah. So yeah. somebody's worried about the the speaker being blown out with the extra bass over time. Talk about how you... As, as, we, as we said before, the speaker, uh, we have designed our sound system to drive the speaker, you know, Appropriately, it's Appro not going yeah. to blow the speaker. Even if you add bass distortion, we've been testing this very extensively. Uh, Curtis pretty much never runs it when it's not full tilt yeah. on everything. And, uh, and this, it, it's well. It's and to be honest, if system. it's distorting that much, anyways, you're not going to like the sound. So you're going to be turning it down from there. So we, you know, we, we're definitely we warranty our stuff. I don't think you'll be running it at full tilt all the time. Yeah, okay, talk about but, the. Yeah. The Neo Pixel Blade. Talk about standard, compatible, universal, and what's going to be the price for an individual blade? Oh, it's on yeah. the website. Well, no, the price is going to be here too. <laughs> and, yes. Yeah. So, but we have to switch back to uh, our lovely screen. If these would be so. It's okay. Individual blade. Individual is going to be one forty. One forty for Neo Pixel. If you buy it by itself, if you buy it with a saber, it's one twenty five. So you get the Neo Pixel Blade. For a 125 upgrade, that's going to come with the standard connection, so you can use it with your other Pixel Blades yep. from other manufacturers, media manufacturers, um, and vice versa. Uh, so if you already have a, a, a bunch of Pixel Blades, you'll be able to get the Saber with just a connector. But if you want to get more Pixel Blades, uh, just order with your bulk. With literally the same, the exact same connectors everybody else is using. And as a side note, we're doing this. The right way, I guess we should say. <laughs> the, the, the original manufacturer, the original designer of that connector, we've been talking with him for months and months and months and months. Yeah. And we have literally licensed it from him. So we're not going out and copying and doing things like that. Exactly. We've, we've licensed this from him. They're going to get royalties that you know we've already set out for that connector system to make sure that we, and it's not Denon that we're doing, <laughs> <laughs> um, to make to make sure that that we're not just copying this and being like, hey, we designed it. We we, 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 we take don't want to do that. We don't want to be those guys. Yeah. In the community. So we, you need to be clear. Um, people are confused on the NeoPixel. A NeoPixel blade, isolated by itself. Is, Everybody thinks NeoPixel is an upgrade. Explain the difference. Okay, so you can literally when you go on the store, you pick what saber you want, you pick what switch you want, and then you pick what blade style you want, whether you want an original inhaled LED. LED, which is your our RDW, regular RDW. Uh, fire the LED into a polycarbonate. Tube. Yeah. Or, or the NeoPixel string blade, uh, which has a uh, has a pin connector inside and a uh, pancake. I the, guess. Yeah, there's no there's no LED inside yeah, no on a NeoPixel blade. On the NeoPixel, it's inside the blade. Yes. That uh, that one twenty five is the upgrade price to Add to add a it NeoPixel to a saber blade as you're buying to it. a saber. However, if you already have a NeoPixel blade or several at home, you'll be able to get the saber with the uh, the NeoPixel uh, tilt side connector for no additional charge. Somebody asked if we do. You guys take new ideas for new sabers from customers? No, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> as always. With all of our customers, yeah. if you guys have a crazy idea you want to approach us with, we're always willing to hear yeah. you out. It may, we haven't done a customer saver as of yet. No. But if you have an idea that you want to share with us that maybe you want to talk about, we're always open to new we, ideas. We, and, we've definitely had people share their ideas with us in the past. Especially um, at um, 
con conventions, yeah. expos, and stuff like that. We'd love hearing We're from you guys. We're super open to it. If you have a design that you want to see made, it's your own original design, get in touch with us. The worst we can say is we're not interested yeah. at this time. But but Dave is building my saber next. So we can't talk about the next saber. We'll I know, saber. I know. It, that, it, There's people asking some of the basic questions what? like uh, our really standard small. features, blade lockup, clash, last all, of things, all, those, all, all of those. All of that things. stuff is is standard, and that's what we didn't go into. Standard features with the blast and reflect and uh, stuff like end clashes and everything on the blade itself. You're going to be able to see that localized flash versus uh, when you have an inhale setup, it's just the flash whole blade the flashing. The whole blade but flashes. obviously, um, force effect, uh, blade lockup. We have our auto lockup feature, uh, which you'll be able to customize as well. Uh, you'll have uh, blaster deflect clashes. You'll be able to set the colors of those effects. On the blade itself, all of those all are standard built-in. It's yeah. not a premium. Are there any non-plector font vectors or for font features that font makers can do on your D3 board to make them D3 exclusive? Ooh. I don't even know what that means. I mean, are what there any non-plector font features that font makers can do on your D3 oh, board get in touch to with make us. Yeah, get in touch with us. There, if you there want are... to do some crazy stuff with just D3. Uh, we don't have a, a specific audio suite built into D3 that uses custom sounds as of yet, um, but obviously with the uh, with the boot loader and everything, we're going to be adding new stuff all the time. Yeah. We're already talking with uh, font, our font maker, Lord Blaco, on cool stuff that we can do that's unique to us. If you have ideas or you yeah. want to do work with us, get in touch. We love working with the community. We want to hear from you. But to reiterate... You don't need special fonts to run on D3 and smooth profile or hybrid. You yeah. don't need them. You can take your old fonts and the Saber magically creates everything it needs to make those sounds. <laughs> exactly. So um, it's not magic. It's, yeah, it's almost magic. I love it. It's extension magic. Okay, so the big question is um, people want to know when we're shipping. We're going to have the store open tonight. They know that. Store Five open minutes. tonight. After and then out. six minutes after is when we ship. <laughs> uh, the, the the goal I, is yeah. to ship by April first. Six to eight weeks yeah. is our um is our shipping uh lead time. Or it's shipping. It's lead a little time. bit longer than our normal. We are expecting but... the largest influx of savers we have ever had in the entire time that we running yeah uh, just based on your guys' feedback and the feedback obviously that we're mm -hmm. seeing in the video see it's somebody says cool. shut up it's magic <laughs> it's, it's the force, magic. The force. <laughs> but we're that's still a, that's the goal incredibly yeah. fast lead time and after that we're going to be working back to getting to our uh you know our three to four two to three three to four well week lead time. and also at that point once we once we've released the initial wave is when we'll start to take upgrades exactly so the board, this fine piece of engineering right here, is designed to fit in the same chassis, in the exact same way, with the exact same connectors, with guess what? All your other stuff. So if so, you want to send it in for an upgrade, or you even want to send it in for an upgrade plus the NeoPixel, you'll be able to do that as well. But after we've uh, gone through the initial order phase of the, of the first wave of D3, and then We'll announce more details in the coming weeks on how that's going to work. Not we sure. Sorry. Somebody said not sure if you answered it, but who made the board? All our lead times are six to eight weeks. Be very clear. Yes. Yeah, six to eight weeks for every smart saber. Yes. Six to eight weeks, every smart saber, including NeoPixel blades, as they will also go out with the first wave of the D3 sabers. We're yeah, the Pixel able. blades take a little bit longer to make. Well, I shouldn't say a little bit. We're they take a lot of using all of these orders for coffee money. It's yeah. basically what it's going to be. Yeah. We're well, gonna it's be Starbucks coffee. It's still coffee. It's still um, coffee. But that's, uh, that's 68 weeks. That's our lead time for, you know, Wait, our Jimmy, don't work. ask questions like that. Come we, on. And also to address that question that uh, who makes the board, uh, we, we make design the board. We design the electronics. Everything we is build. made in Canada. Everything, Everything is made in Canada. Made in-house, designed, engineered, manufactured, built, whatever you want to call it. Desi not designed like right here by but us and our team. speaking, right uh, here. Us and the team at Electrum. We assemble them all by hand. Your saber is assembled by hand by you know not only ourselves but the rest of the staff at Electrum and uh, 
everything we do in house with premium products. We make everything in Canada so that you know you're not getting cheap manufacturing. We take our quality very seriously, and we use only the best premium assembly materials to make your saber so that it feels the most authentic and real and true to life. Yeah, like the collectible that it is. Yeah, and uh, I forgot what it, what it said. What I was going to say completely because <laughs> I was listening to you. Not that that's a bad thing. I, I can't help it. I have those dulcet tones. Oh, oh, yeah. Somebody asked, "Is that 329, 349 without the neo pixel blade?" Yes. yes, correct. That you is add that an is with that is with a regular in hilt. One twenty five to add the blade, but if you want just the pixel adapter because you already have a neo pixel blade at home. Uh, the adapter on the hilt side only is no extra charge. Yes. It's only, you're only paying 125 for a separate blade that you can put in there. Um, if you're ordering the blade by itself without ordering a smart saver, it's, it's 140. 140. Yeah. So you got a bit of a deal if you're getting a saver with it. And, and we priced them, obviously, you we know, priced them as we, we like to price down. our stuff so that, you know, it's not like, hey, we go out to undercut, but we, we literally price our stuff because we like what we do. And we like seeing other people have it. You know, it, it's cool to go to a convention. And I know all the Vader's Vault guys and, and all the other companies out there, they, I'm sure they feel the same way. When they see somebody walking around with one of their sabers, they start glowing, right? You're like, wow, that guy's got one of our sabers. It's awesome. It's it a cool awesome. thing to, to make something and have somebody like it. You know, it, it, it's as simple as that. So... So we want to price it so that everybody in the world can have one. Exactly. So yeah. you'll find that our pricing for uh, the pixels is as competitive as it gets. Yes. All, All right. right. Do, we, do we got another one? Hang on. <laughs> will you do custom blade lengths? Uh, we'll we'll have the three blade lengths. Uh, show for pixel, out. however, yeah. pixel will come in our standard 32 inch length. Um, Eventually, we plan to expand uh, a little bit more options in terms of you know what kind of options you can get for Pixel, be it heavy grade or different lengths. But because of the influx of savers, having them in that 32 length allows us to get these savers to yeah, you yeah, faster. a bit faster. Um, so to it's start, a production issue to start. To, to start, it's going to be that 32 blade length. Uh, we find that that's actually the best length for both balance, uh, strength, uh, weight, everything like that. Cool. We're going to have to wind this down a bit. All right. But, um, but a big question is, let's talk about our current Electrum customers, yeah. E2 upgrades. Uh -huh. Let's be really clear with them about what we're going to do. We don't have a, let's talk about what okay. we're trying to get to. Clar clarity is, after the initial influx, after we send out the initial run, which in will be weeks. In, in, you know, by like April 1st, then we will have an option on the store that will tell you, here's the upgrade. Here's the price. You buy an upgrade on the store, send and your send saber back, saber. and you get a new, a new saber. Yeah. You get you, you get, get your the, you the D3 core back in your D3. new in, in your saber. Uh, that system that system will we're going to make that as painless as possible. Try to yeah. make it so that there's very little work beyond you guys putting it in a box and sending it to us. The reason um, it, the reason it's taking a little bit is because we want to work with the shipping companies to try and make it so that when you buy this service that it gets sent in in a reasonable way, you know, whether that's with UPS or DHL, so that you don't have to do a lot to get this thing back to us. It's not, it's not a normal repair situation. Exactly. It's, it's an upgrade situation. So we, you know, we want to handle that a little bit differently. So we've been not struggling with that, but making sure we get it right. Yeah. So and, we, and we also want, uh, we don't want uh, people to be sending in upgrades and then seeing other people be getting their their D three savers while their savers still sitting on the bench. Yeah. Uh, essentially, we want to manage this in the most efficient way possible, get uh, the first influx of orders out, and then uh, move on to the upgrade waves, because we know that there's a lot of you guys that are going to want to send it. Send so it we want to take care of you as fast and as efficiently, efficiently as possible, and maintain that customer service that we're known for, because we really care about you guys, and we want you to have, we want everyone to have D3. Yeah. Someone asked about the coupler. On here, this is a. I answered. You did. Oh, you were, he's already responding. Well, what am, I, why am I even up here then? If you're sitting there. <laughs> anything. All right. Well, yeah, the the coupler on this one is it could work, but we uh, it's not exactly designed for it because this is a threaded system versus the coupler is kind of like a uh, the set screw system that we use on our older stuff. Um, so 
Yeah, we, we, but I mean, you could. I wouldn't say that it's designed for it because you're going to see yeah. exposed threads. Yeah. Because um, we, we put a decent amount of threading on there. But yeah, so we, but yes, we are going to come out with new stuff. So we're not, yeah. we're not just going to stop here. You know, if we have enough people that, because we have now two threaded hilts, although they have different threads on them, and yeah. the, the uh, Evo, you know, the whole, the the whole pommel. Yeah. yeah, so it's a little different, but I'm sure we will come out with more with a threaded pommel like this because people do like the threaded pommel. It's a little bit easier for you guys, you know. But um, it's we also put an ample amount just for you guys. If you're wondering how much strength we put on these bad boys, there is an ample amount of threading on here. It's very thick. Uh, show them the other side. Show them how Ooh. how thick. Yeah, yeah very so. thin, just enough for wire to go through. Uh, it's a very robust system, so you can do it with confidence. Plus, it's the little it's very, it's the very little pretty. Little. Yeah. So you guys are gonna have. I just oh, ready. You guys are gonna have a really nice, solid, uh, heavy hitter here. Okay, so let's do one more question. All right, one more question. Dave, one more Dave's question. gonna do another hard question, and then we're gonna do a couple more here. But then we gotta shut her down. Ah, uh, you know what? I have a hard question for you guys. Okay. Harder. Uh, what is the name of the system? That Star Killer base destroyed. What? You, you Who knows like, that what? stuff? I do. I know that's that crazy. This, that's someone's going to come up with it right away. It's going to be insane. Ooh, oh, somebody, somebody type the letter. Come on. No, it's not. Dick. Well, not. Yeah, okay, Hosnian. I, Jeremy what? Moon. Hosnian system. Jeremy, Jeremy Moon. Wins everything. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. You're... Congratulations, yeah. Jeremy. You've won yourself 50 Jeremy's bucks. local. Yeah, I know. He's a local uh, guy. There's somebody faster. Was uh -huh. there? There was somebody faster. Okay, Keith is, Keith is going to be the judge. We only have Keith's a screen judge. like it's this. Like this. this we big. can't so, see it. Jeremy, sorry. Sorry if you didn't win. <laughs> we'll we'll see you in a, we'll see in a couple gets... months at Comic-Con. You can give us the gears there. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, more questions. Does anybody have any more questions? Because... We're going to run. We the second the we run. Literally, we, this up, we, we want to open the store, store so. because that's part of the contest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Okay, so let's, we'll do a couple more minutes. We're time for one questions. or two questions here. Yeah, they aren't fair for the person with the fastest. Yeah, no, that that's not completely true, but we do have very fast internet in Canada. Some of the fastest in the world. Do we? Yep. We do. Yeah. Huh. It's, we have fiber. You, you go anywhere else in the world, you're like, what? going on it's 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 fiber across Canada it's pretty cool anyways okay <laughs> battery life for something Where, when can I buy a t-shirt yeah you can Kyle. Of course. you know you can buy a t-shirt you know what Kyle I'll send you a t-shirt <laughs> Keith's like no we can buy it buy a t-shirt <laughs> we always pick Keith as the bad guy because there's got to be one bad guy and he's behind the scenes so no one can see him yeah yeah so it's like yeah if we can't do it Keith said we can't do it so sorry blame Keith we'll give you his email at the end <laughs> <laughs> this uh, gentleman just must have tuned in. He said, "When will you guys be making a base speaker an option?" Oh, okay, guys. Well, the, the new the new saber guy who just tuned in a brand new base ear speaker. <laughs> it's loud. You can actually listen. Well, show. listen, listen to the difference. The, so it's the got a resonance has, chamber, yeah. you know, all the way through, right? So. But it yeah, does have a, a big difference. has a brand new speaker system, so you're going to be getting that bass ear system. And you've got EQs, bass boosts, bass gains, all sorts you of You can go back stuff. through and watch this whole Yeah, just watch, 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 the whole the whole video. watch the whole video. We talk in depth and about it. And push like like a thousand times. Yeah, like a million. Wow, that's How lot. fast can you click? How fast can you click? All right. All right. Okay, I want your shirt. Who? Which shirt? Dave's shirt or my no, shirt? Curtis. You, oh, Curtis, yes. you've been getting props all night. Yes! This is literally... One of my favorite shirts, and I wore it on purpose today because I love it. And my wife will be like, Curtis, you're an idiot. But it's true. I love shirts. I like buying really loud shirts. Really loud shirts. So, hey, that's, see? You, what? Okay, Keith. Right now. Don't ever do that now, again. During this live video, Keith opened the store. Yeah, he did. You guys can pre-order right now. What are we still doing? I don't know. I think that is that, that really the end of the of the live <laughs> All right, show. Take one more question. Okay, one more question. One more Battery runtime. That was one before. So, um, depends. Depends on if you're running all the LEDs. But 
we've done some new things with the hardware, something we didn't mention. We're able to now drag more energy out of the battery, go a little bit lower on the voltage. So we can get about an hour and a half of runtime on a single color with a pixel blade. With a pixel blade. With a pixel blade. Say it again. With a pixel blade. With a pixel blade. With a pixel blade. So because we we get about, it runs around the two amp-ish with a single color. As soon as you go to four colors, uh, sorry, four, all, all the all colors, the colors. white, then, then it's, it's going to drag it down a lot faster, but you're still going to get around a half hour of that, which is yeah. crazy. And the speaker on this literally takes like two and a half watts. So it also takes a ton of power because it's bassier. It takes more to drive that speaker, but that's what the audio is. So you're going to, it's going to depend cool on stuff. how loud you're driving it, how many uh, colors you're driving it. Uh, when you're running it without a pixel blade, like uh, Curtis said, you are able to draw a lot more power out of the battery. So your regular mode is going to probably last you, you know, it's going to last you a decent amount extra, yeah. probably like a quarter amount. Extra, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Extra take. yeah. So you probably get about uh, three, four. We're going to, uh, we're going to do some, hours. do some videos with those timed on there. Mm -hmm. um, so as well as deep sleep, just to show you guys the, the engineering and, you know, I know that micro amps don't matter to most people, but they matter. The, deep, the new deep sleep is going to make a lot of you guys just, yeah. you're going to be able to leave it on the shelf for a lot longer. So you're yeah. going to be really, really amped about it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I think that's it. That's it. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's what we got to do. We got to shut her down. Well, I just want to thank you guys on behalf of, you know, we want to thank you. On behalf of Electrum, thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for your awesome feedback yeah. question. And we wouldn't have the Sabre if it wasn't for... You, you guys have followed us down yeah. the road to V3, and you're going to follow us a little bit more. I can't wait to get these sabers in your hand. Curtis can't wait for you guys to see all the new features you've yeah. hooked up. And it's just going to be, it's gonna it's be, awesome. gonna be an awesome gonna be experience. Awesome. And we'd love to share this adventure with you guys and build the road to the real lightsaber that we all know in our hearts we want. <sighs> okay. Finish the it, what, once Once I finish the time machine <laughs> that I've been working on for a while... I will build a real lightsaber. Time so, machine first, though, because I, I got to go fix some stuff that I've messed up. So I need to go back first. All right. So thank you guys for tuning thank you. in. It's been super Check awesome. Check out the store. All of the D3 stuff is now you can, live. It's now up. It's live. up. So you can go buy a saber right now. Right now. And you can do your own sabering in a couple months. Sabering. I love, sabering is my favorite. As term. always, we'll be here. Yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, you know where to go. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks. It's awesome. Jonathan just tuned in. Jonathan just tuned in. What are you Jonathan doing? Jonathan Dumoulin. Oh. oh the tagging contest. The tagging contest where yeah. he won something? What did What did he win, Keith? What, what, Jonathan, what was it that he we're, won? We're trying to shut the speed down. <laughs> tell, tell, tell me what he won, Keith. What did he win? He won his choice of any D3 ready saber. Any D3 yeah, ready just saber. Just before we quit. Now I know what Keith is like. You know on the Price is Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's, you know it. You know it. Tell us what he's won. Tell us what he's won. <laughs> you won your choice yeah. of any of our sabers equipped with Diadium 3. Yeah. So get in touch with us uh, right after we're done here, and we're going to set you up. I'm going, going to sleep. I'm literally going to sleep after the saber. Can't wait to get it to you. Okay, so let's say thank you again. Thank you. Thank for you, the second guys. time. You guys are awesome. We truly, we truly love this stuff. It's cool. It's and we thank best you guys job in the world. Because best job. without without people who like our stuff, we literally wouldn't be here. And I wouldn't have tons of sabers on the wall. I yeah. mean, yeah, yeah. But he puts, yeah. So may the force be with you. Yes. We'll see you guys on the other side of the road to V three. Can't shut it down. <laughs> <laughs>